In today's video, I'm gonna take you inside the mind of a rank one Freddy. You use the perk and the build setup that I use, you're gonna win most of your games. I'm gonna take you around the map, I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking or tell you what I'm thinking and what I'm looking for. So make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, all that stuff, man. Discordance is gonna be the first perk whenever the game starts, okay? You're probably using the wrong perk at startup. Some of y'all use the other perk where it shows you the first six seconds of where everybody's at, at the beginning of the map. I think that's a Legion or a Nemesis perk. I think it's Legion, if I'm not mistaken. Don't use that perk. Use Discordance instead if you're using Freddy because the first two people, three people, jump on the generator that's closest to them and it marks it yellow. So right off the rip, I already know where most of the people are. Pop goes the weasel. Once we hook somebody, we get to pop the generator. And with Freddy being able to teleport, it's just crazy. Thrilling tremors. This is gonna be from Ghostface. When I hook somebody, when I pick someone up, whoever's not on a generator, those generators get clawed. Okay, I don't, but by the entity. Whenever I hook them, I teleport to the one that's being worked on and then I'll kick it. it it's all situational, but I'm gonna take you inside the game to explain in real time what's happening. Cause sometimes I don't teleport, sometimes I do. Barbecue and chili from the cannibal. Once you hook someone, anyone that's further than 40 meters, they show up on your screen and it gives you an idea. Are they on a generator? Are they moving left to right? Are they coming my way? That's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead, take this build right here. I'm using paintbrush as well. So the, at the start of the trial, they're already in the dream world and in the green dress where it slightly increases healing and repair regression penalties. Survivor's aura will be revealed to me for three seconds. So this build right here is going to get you to rank one as long as you move around the map the way I show you in today's video. Let's get into the gameplay. All right, we're going to the Crotus Pin Asylum. Now, right off the rip, I'm telling you, once this match starts, I'm heading toward the generators. Whichever one's turned yellow is the one. Okay, right here, we got killer. Oh, we got two of them. So two and two right now on generators in this direction. What I'm gonna do is scare them both off, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna put a dream snare here. Hit the generator so it goes in the regression. If I see an easy hit somewhere right here, I'll attack it. Okay, she's right there. I'm not worried about her yet, okay? I'm not worried about her. I gotta kick these people off the generators. That's my first move, okay? I gotta press the generators right now. And then we make our move. Put snares here, so if they come, I'll know. If they get on it, I'll know. The dream snares will, will tell me if they get back on the generators. So this girl doesn't, doesn't even know I'm coming because she's in the dream state. Oh, I missed that. Okay, that's my fault. All right. Advanced looping right here. Never look straight. Right here. Turn around. Well, actually, she you know what? She's not making the right pro proper moves. I'm just going to go ahead and hit her. All right, so she vaulted. I'm going to keep looking away from the window. Boom, she comes back this way because she thinks I'm going the other way. Advanced movements with the killer. You never want to just look in the same direction. You want to turn around. Now, I'm going to look around. They're working on that generator and that generator. So when I hook this... Oh, there's no basement here. When I hook this girl, fake teleport to the one that's far away and go back to the one I was kicking. So right here, hit the fake teleport this way. Come back to my right. I see a guy right in the middle coming for the save. It looks like I'm coming back to this generator. I should have been, been able to push that guy off the other generator. She so just jumped. I'm going to go ahead and kick this right here so we can use Pop Goes the Weasel. Regress that. I'm going to make. I'm gonna ignore her. I'm going to make my move back to the hook. Okay, because this is how this is a method that I use. I'll come back. I'm sure someone's coming for the save already. Here we go. I thought she was going to go for the save on the other side. She didn't. So we're going to go ahead and hit her. Big mistake. Big mistake. She's going to go down. And I could chase this girl, but I'm not. This is the flashlight girl. So flashlight girl. I don't think I'm going to add that in the lobby, but there's one survivor here that had a flashlight and I need to pay attention to her. You know what I'm saying? Got to pay attention. Fake teleport into this to see if they run toward me, if I can flush them toward my direction. I'm gonna kick the generator. That way it loses 25% of its power. I'm gonna sweep back to the hook. And I'm going after flashlight girl if I see her. I think that's her to the right. Yeah, she's hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on flashlight girl. Try to get her out of the game or make it very hard for them to where they're gonna wanna save her from her third hook. That's gonna pull them off the generators as well. We'll probably go into a loop. But like I'm telling you guys, okay? Watch this. Look away. Look toward. Look away. She'll come. Look away. All right. She took off. Same thing. Right. Backwards. Boom. And they come right back to me, baby. Okay. They come right back to me. So now this is going to be her second hook. Looking around. There's a generator being worked on. May fake teleport to that. 
or I may. It depends. I think I hear someone around me, bro, to be honest with you. So let's just go ahead and hit the fake. We'll fake this one. I see scratch marks here. So someone's close to her trying to go for the save. I already have, what, two hooks? All right, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, y'all got to pick them up. Don't be scared. Ain't no point being scared. Go for the lunge here right before the drop. Come back around. She's probably going to unhook her. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay. So right here, I'm not worried about flashlight girl. She's already struggling. She's worried. I like this girl, okay? I want her. They already did a generator. It's fine. This guy, I don't know what he's doing, but go ahead and enjoy that right there. I'm going to pick this girl up, take her to a hook. Oh, look, he's actually right here, but I'm not going to worry about him right now. I'm not worried about I'm going to get this hook. I see him. I saw him. I'm going to kick this pallet, get out of the way. We're doing good. Still got four generators. This girl's already on her second hook. Or did she... No, it's the first girl I hooked, wasn't it? I can't remember. And that's something you got to do. You got to remember. Uh, they were working on this generator here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this to get my uh, pop the weasel going. Pop goes the weasel. My bad. All right. They go for the save. This survivor group right here is not playing right. Okay. You don't you don't play like this. You don't come together trying to save someone immediately. Gener generators are your primary focus. Okay. She's, she should be good. Let me just kick her this way. All right. We're going to come back for this girl over here. Pick her up. Take her to the hook. This may be it for her. But like I said, once you do this, people try to save. Look, look at this guy. And he, if you stay here. All right, he's st okay, yeah. See what I'm saying? They try to save off that third hook. But now she gets hooked. She gets killed. He's down. We fake the teleport just in case someone's on that generator over there. I'm looking for flashlight girl. Making sure you don't blind me in the eye. Just scoping the scene. Scoping it up. Seeing what's popping. Now he goes to the hook. I need something that's close, bro. I got one to the right over here. We should be good with this hook right here. All right. So we know how the survivors play. There's one person rocking the gins. Someone's going to be look, floating right. I see her. I see her floating right. Okay, so she's far away from a generator. Don't really got to worry about that. I can play around this area right here. Already got him off. That's, that's how they're playing. They're playing to save him. But that's just the amount of pressure that we're putting on the lobby, bro. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try to outsmart this guy right here. Okay, we're gonna look away, come backwards. All right, he's dipping. He's zigzagging, and I'm running in a straight line. And he goes down. I saw Meg back here behind me. I'm gonna act like I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't see her close. I don't see her close. So let's just pick this guy up. All right. I don't know what hook. This might be her first hook. I don't have a hook there. Oh, no. I hope we make it. I mean, this guy's first hook. I think it's his first hook. We got to get him far away if we can make it, bro. I hope we don't wiggle off. This is going to be close. Oh, there's someone on this generator right here. Insane. I get to pop this generator. Okay, so this guy's about to... I guess that was his second hook. Now, we're moving kind of fast in this in this game, so it's hard for me to remember a lot of stuff. I saw someone right here. She doesn't see me coming because, remember, when they're in the dream world, they don't know where Freddy's coming from. And now she goes down. And I could chase this guy, but I don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and just hook this girl back on his hook. I saw him take off. It's all good. We're in control. We're in, like, hard control, though. I see scratch marks, so I can come this way and look for the down... I hear the generator moving. They're trying to do it, but I scared them. It's all good. And now they're going to go for the loop. Oh, nope. Ran right to me. I mean, you know, what can I do? So we got one hooked. Another one about to go to the hook. Barbecue and chili should give me an idea of where the last person is if, if they're far away from me. Just to give me a heads up. But I am going to make my way to the other hook. I don't see nobody. We need to start thinking about the hatch in our mind because the hatch could spawn anywhere. I don't see nobody here. Who do we got left? Okay, so it's... All right, I see what we got. Okay, we got a hook. So this person right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the smart. I'm going to go ahead and go far away from them because they need three gens. There's no way they're going to get the gens done. 
So I'm going to go far away from this hook. Allow them to recover her while I try to look for the hatch. Okay, so I will allow it in this game. But you know what? Let me break this pallet. I might as well. Allow them to, to heal each other. I kind of hope she pulls her off the hook. If they're smart, she should just take the L. Oh, he healed. She just take the L and then jump in the hatch. Assuming that it spawned already. Okay. Now I can teleport over here. I saw him. See? 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 Teleport. 200 IQ plays. He's here. Boom. And this is why Freddy's one of the main. This is why Freddy's goaded, bro. That simple and easy. A 4K in a lobby. Rank 1 Freddy. You guys are seeing just the damage these perks do. How powerful this guy is. And it's it's crazy that a lot of people don't even put him in number one. He's the number one killer in my book. The number one. I know they say spirit. They say the nurse. But Freddy, bro, can apply a lot of pressure from far away. There it is, homies. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Shout out to the survivors that we played against. We just, we just put too much pressure, bro. Love you guys, man. Peace.